Welcome back, everybody. Looking at our current conditions, we got 30 degrees right now in San Angelo. Winds are fairly calm from the northwest, maybe one to two miles an hour around the rest of the region here. Temperatures are sitting mostly in the upper 20s to low 30s and then a few areas like Sonora, El Dorado, even Big Lake in the low to mid 20s, even Sterling City at 25 right now. Around the Lone Star State here, we do have temperatures that continue to be mostly 20s and 30s, 40s along the coastline and even along the eastern edge of the state and then closer to the teens as we head up to the Panhandle. Not a whole lot going on for satellite radar. We just have a few showers that had developed just to the southwest of Dallas, but otherwise not too much going on even for our region we're going to have plenty of clear skies and sunshine as we continue getting through the rest of our morning into the afternoon winds will pick up later on this afternoon from the west at about five to ten miles per hour highs are expected to be slightly cooler than what we had yesterday we're expecting mid 50s for majority of the region with the exception of junction hitting 58 for a high today as we continue through today into tomorrow we're expecting plenty of sunny skies do not have a whole lot to worry about as far as precipitation and then friday we're going to start to see some clouds making their way into our region a little bit lower in level as we continue through the end of our week drought monitor continues to be fairly dry for majority of the region and look off to our west here we have a large patch of exceptional drought out just to the west of uh, Reagan County and that actually did contribute to the dust storm that came in yesterday so looking off on our west nest cam here you can see at one o'clock we're fairly clear as we look off and then you'll start to see a little bit of a haze by 1 30 hour and a half later we're gonna have all of that coming into our area so that wasn't really adding to the air quality of our area and then the sun setting around 5 30 yesterday can still see that haze off in the distance as it continues to go into the evening hours. Breaking down the rest of our seven day forecast, we'll be hovering around 60 degrees as we get through the weekend as well. And then we're going to be mid 60s to low 70s as we get into next week, which is the first day of winter.